Hello there. Didn't see you. Uh, well, this is... This is embarrassing. Hold on. Alright, now that I've got a chance to prepare, let's get on with this. So, what we have here is a sorting and processing system. It's all automatic. The only user input is putting things into this chest. So, if I put in some dirt, immediately get sucked out by a red power retriever, put into the mag tubes. I think it lagged a little bit there. Let's see. There it goes. <clears throat> you can barely see it because it goes pretty darn fast in a mag tube. And then they'll get sent to the proper destination. Well, for dirt, it is through the yellow filter over here. And there's actually two different sets of uh, sorting machines. This is one. These are all filters. And then over here is another. And they use the same colors as they do on this side, but they don't interact with each other. It either goes into here, the uh, dirt goes in the yellow, and then the yellow over here. Well, actually, there's nothing on yellow, so... Light blue. Cobblestone goes in light blue. And over here, it's a bunch of red power stuff that goes in light blue. So it either goes in this light blue one, or the other one. And we had to do that because we had more than 16 different chests that we wanted to sort to, and you can only sort to 16 different things through one system. So two separate systems that can go up to 16, but we're only using 11 total colors for each side. Alright, let's make our way back up here. And right here is the control panel area. Uh, start off, we've got cobblestone. You can either store it, which is the default option, and that'll just put cobblestone into the cobblestone chest over here. Or you can smelt it into smooth stone, or macerate it into sand, which is an industrial craft feature. And for sand, we can either store it or smelt it. And so if you want to make glass out of cobblestone, all you do is oh, wrong one. macerate it into sand, and then smelt the sand, and it will macerate the cobblestone and smelt it all in one fluid motion, and it will end up in the chest where glass is supposed to go. Okay. Now on the other side, it's a little more complicated over here. You can either store the coal that you put in the chest. You can macerate it, which turns it into coal dust, which is used in industrial craft to make solar panels, among other things. Or you can turn it into carbon plate, which is an advanced industrial craft item. And that's what all this is up here. Uh, let me see if I can get up there in one try. Okay. So when you hit the carbon plate switch, <clears throat> it comes up here and the coal dust goes, the coal goes through this filter and gets sent to the macerator and then it comes back through and gets sent through this filter and the coal dust comes through here goes into this chest because buildcraft and red power don't really operate too well together so it goes into this chest gets sucked out into an automatic crafting table to make raw carbon fiber and two raw carbon fiber is used to make a raw carbon mesh and then this gets put back into the system and raw carbon mesh gets compressed so it goes to the closest orange which is the compressors and for our processing we have the industrial craft induction furnaces we have four of those three singularity compressors which are from advanced machines uh, rotary macerators, four of those, and then extractors on this side, as well as uh, alloy furnaces, blue electric alloy furnaces from Red Power. But currently this side isn't hooked up because 
into pearls are hard to get in survival. So, and that's what you need to craft the device that is missing right here. And we also haven't figured out what else to put over here, so there's that. Um, the last of the item choice option things is iron. You can, it always smelts iron when you put it in there, but you can choose to refine the iron into refined iron, which is used in industrial craft for pretty much everything. And the last of the switches is to restock dirt and restock cobblestone. And this is for these two chests. Oh, by the way, I left the floor off on purpose so we'd be able to see things here. Alright, so the dirt chest is full and the cobblestone chest is almost full. So, say that you've been building something that took a lot of cobblestone and the chest is almost empty. Well, there's an extra storage chest down in there. You can't really see it from here. It's a diamond chest. You can barely see it. Um, you could go down there and pick it out yourself if you wanted to, or you could come over here, hit the restock cobblestone button, and this light will stay on until it decides that there are excess cobblestone in the system. So in just a second, you'll see it start coming up here. This is all coming out of the extra storage comes up, goes through the filter, and restock. And now when this gets full, all the excess will go back into the storage and trigger an item detector to tell the system that it's got extra cobblestone. And it turns the light off. And that means that as long as this light is not lit, that means you have extra cobblestone and your top cobblestone chest is full. And it's the same way with dirt. So, put some things in here, clean up my inventory a little bit. Some of this stuff doesn't have sorting locations to go to right now, but it's all still a work in progress. So, right, good enough. And you see everything getting sucked out here. Shot into the mag tubes, everything's already gone. It all gets sucked up pretty quick. Some of the stuff will go over here. Black is the unsorted items chest. So anything that doesn't have an appropriate filter or sorting machine will be put in there. <coughs> and these chests, we haven't really figured out what to do with them yet, so they're just chilling there by themselves. Uh, Alright, and now right here is part of our power system. Now industrial craft, build craft, and red power all use separate power systems. It means you gotta have one way to generate power for each one of those mods for all their machines to run. Oh, I hit the sand smelt button over here. Let me switch this back so I don't forget. See, all our sand is getting smelted now. And it gets pulled out the back through here. I'd, yeah, there, you can see it right there. Let's see if I can... Yeah. All the sand's getting pulled out. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. I told the cobblestone to macerate. Well, I unintentionally demonstrated exactly what I was talking about. I put the cobblestone in the chest. It got put into the system. I had it on macerate, so it went and got turned into sand and sand was on smelt and so when it got back to the system it went to the furnaces so that was an unintentional demonstration of the system um, anyways back to the power industrial craft we have a nuclear reactor and it's surrounded on the top side and a little bit on the bottom with reinforced stone uh, so if it does ever blow up, which it shouldn't, it won't take out everything else, hopefully. So, having a little bit of lag here. Uh, this is where I store all the uranium and coolant cells that I need to refill this. And right now, they're almost empty, and this setup right here is generating 70 energy units per tick, which is quite a lot and it gets fed into this unit down here 
which is an MFSU from Industrial Craft, that stores 10 million total energy units. And that outputs all the way up this glass cable wire into another one, and that's the one that's sitting up top. So that's how our Industrial Craft power is generated. And our red, oh, it's getting dark. Let me, uh, let me go sleep for the night, and I'll be right back. Okay. Just so we didn't have any creepers blow up on us. Oh, and there's a creeper right there. Let me go take him out. Okay. Now. Uh, that was industrial craft down there. That's all the nuclear reactor and everything. And for red power, um, we set up a thermopile stack. Each thermopile generates a small trickle of red power power, which is uh, measured in voltage and amps. And they generate power according to the temperature difference of the blocks around them. And the most efficient way to get a lot of power from a lot of thermopiles is to stack them like this. And I've got 14 here, I believe. And basically, the, the best way to do it is to put lava on one side and then water on all of the other sides. And it'll generate a little bit of power per thermopile. And up top, there's also some solar panels from Red Power. And that all gets fed into the battery boxes here. There's a couple of these. Some of them are in the actual flooring. And that gets fed to all the Red Power machines. So sorting machines, the blue electric furnace, and the accelerators for the mag tubes. Because normal tubes and mag tubes cannot interface directly. They need a powered accelerator. So, that's pretty much everything. And I just wanted to show this off. Hopefully, some other people will think it's pretty cool. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> now my friend can put in the walls. He's been, uh, he's been itching to do that for a while, but I didn't want him to do it yet because it would have uh, gotten in the way of showing everything off. So, with all of that said, I bid you adieu.